I noticed there's a lot of talk about Netflix losing all of these subscribers, but what doesn't make sense to me is that for some reason people are celebrating as if this were a good thing for the movies. And it is a good thing for the movies because if Netflix goes down like Disney is going down, right, and like CNN Plus went down, then it just proves that the movies and movie theaters can still thrive, right? So, but people are, are, are forgetting something. Netflix didn't just lose millions of subscribers, okay? A war is taking place in the Ukraine and Netflix chose to bail out of Russia, or not bail out of Russia, but pretty much just stop their services in Russia. So they alone, they lost millions of subscribers, right? And that was willingly. They took a loss. They didn't have to do that. And then you have the Ukraine. There's a war in Ukraine, and no one there is watching Netflix. Who used to watch Netflix there and who had subscriptions? So that's two countries that Netflix lost millions of subscribers from. So I know this, this whole celebration saying, oh, look, this proof that streaming is going down and that Movies are going to come back to life because nobody really wants to stream. You have to be realistic about what's going on in the world today. And I'm sure the world right now is not thinking about Netflix. So when things get better, like everything does get better, then people are going to go back to Netflix. So it's not like it's dead. Do you understand, people? I wouldn't celebrate so soon moviegoers who are competing with Netflix for some reason because I think we can have both. I don't see why Netflix can't exist and AMC movie theaters exist and any other movie theater exists. I don't see why if I feel like watching something that isn't in the movie but it's on Netflix, I can't sit at home and watch it. And then when I'm chilling on a Friday or Saturday, there's a movie playing in the movie theater that isn't playing on Netflix. And I can tell my girl, yo, girl, let's go. Let's hang out. Let's go to a movie. It's just ridiculous that there has to be this competition. Again, the, the reason why Netflix is going down is because they willingly chose to jump off from Russia. They lost millions of subscribers, millions of subscribers by deciding to leave Russia. And the Ukraine is not watching Netflix because they got better things to do. There's a war going on. That whole country's been, it's just been um, bulldozed. So no one is watching Netflix there. You have to consider these things. And once things go back to normal, it might take years, which I'm sure it will. But like everything, Netflix ain't going nowhere. I don't think it's going anywhere. That's just my opinion, you know. So get your money, people.